yo what's up it's Wande and so um yeah Psalm chapter 30 is what we're talking about today and so yeah I just wanted to send some reminders to all of y'all that like the people in the bible are real humans real humans just like you they got emotions just like you they were sad just like you but you know at the same time I think one cool thing about David that you can draw he's the one who wrote this is that he recognized that hey despite what I'm going through the Lord is going to take me through it like despite that I'm sad right now there's going to be joy on another day and I can recognize that and what's even wilder about this right is that many people think that Psalm 30 was actually written prophetically so it was supposed to be written as like something to read at the dedication of his palace so David you know he's on some king status instead of at the mansion you know welcoming party saying oh yes you know all my riches like, yep I'm balling shout out to me I'm the goat you know I'll be running things out here instead of that he prophetically wrote like hey when this man when this palace is built this is what I want you to talk about and he talks about um hey God like thank you so much that through my pain and through everything that I went through I knew that you would bring me and restore me to a place of joy thank you for allowing me to be able to sing a new song and be able to see like just the beauty of everything that you've done in my life and be able to sing joy now. Like now joy comes out of my heart instead of pain. And so I think that's really beautiful that he was even able to recognize in the past self. Before it came to pass, like God, I know who you are and you're not a liar. And I know your character. And because I know your character, I'm going to thank you in advance. And even if I don't live to see it, I know that at least when I die, I'm going to be with you and I'm going to sing a new song. And if I don't live to see it, I want the people who end up building this palace to remember this and to say like hey at this dedication this is what we're gonna be talking about we're not gonna talk about how rich david was we're not gonna talk about how i was a leader we're gonna talk about how god was able to do this and do something new in this new season and how god was able to just you know be the good god that he is and so i think that's pretty fire that's one fire thing about david you know even though david was wild and sometimes you know just like all of us david has some flaws i'm not gonna cap some of them were questionable but anyway Despite David's nonsense, one thing about him, he he understood who God was. And one thing about David, you know, he was never afraid to be unashamed for God. He was never afraid to dance for the Lord, give him praises. He was never afraid to talk to God about his emotions. Some people be too afraid to talk to God. And God's like, why are you not talking to me? Like, I'm your whole dad. Like, what? And I think it's because we have distorted relationships sometimes in society that we don't realize, like, what a healthy relationship is supposed to look like. But that's one thing you can look at David. Despite whatever went down, David realized... I can always talk to my father and my father will always be there for me. And he he ran towards God, not away. So that's what you need to be doing with your life. But yeah, that was a little word of the day. I just want to encourage all of y'all that in your current season, even if it's not now, and even if, who knows, God may not allow you to live to the end of it. Just remember that joy will come in the morning. There will be a new, you eventually sing a new song of joy through whatever pain you're enduring. The season, the cloud will be lifted. I think that's one beautiful thing about Andy. If you listen to his project, um, season the arrow of the story. I'm sorry, Andy, but but he talks about it in the project where he says, you know, I was on a plane, and he says he was on a plane, and it was like very cloudy and dark, and turbulence was happening, and everybody was freaking out, and they're going, oh my goodness, like. Oh, it was about to be horrible, but eventually they got through it. And then the sun came out and it was beautiful. But in that moment of the turbulence and the cloudiness, they forgot that the sun existed. And yeah, it's crazy because the sun was still there the whole time. The sun was always there. It never left. But because they were so focused on their situation of being surrounded by the clouds, you just forget like things that are common sense. And so, um, yeah, I just want to encourage y'all. The sun is still there. The sun is still there. He's still shining on your life. He never left you. You're just going through a cloud right now. And it's okay. You're going to pass through it. And there's going to be joy in the morning. And I just want to encourage all y'all. Keep showing up. Keep doing things. And and going places that you know would normally bring you joy. Even though you may be sad or depressed or whatever. Because you will sing a new song. And there will be joy. Amen. <laughs> Sorry. I had to just add a little tidbit. It just dawned on me too. Because I was rereading the chapter. And I'm like, the title is like, this is a song. So, like, this is like, hey, this is the track to drop to, to be the soundtrack to my life. Like, and it's crazy because I'm, I'm writing my mixtape right now. And, I'm like, a lot of the songs, I really want them to, like, just describe my life and describe, like, how I feel. And so it's crazy. Like, it's not just the Bible verse, not just the chapter. It's, like, this is, like, a soundtrack that he was, like, hey, this, this, these are the lyrics. Drop this track. What is time? 
Thanks. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I need the happiness that comes from above. Like, it's deeper than the feeling we receive from all the things that we have. I gotta enjoy the last years, never leaving. So, I still feel content when things don't go the way I'm thinking. Oh, the way we feel is so deceiving. You ain't even know. Follow your heart. You might make the wrong choice. People yelling, but you always got that still small voice. Got peace. Never judge me insane. Hope we stay in the same. Something inside, you're the enemy. Long since the lips are free. I've been torn down. I got all this pain. Feel like I'm lost in change. So badly 